Hey everybody, Matt Farnham here, leader of Team Farnham Real Estate. Want to give you a housing market update here for the end of July uh, 2022. First of all, thank you so much to everybody who continues to trust us and refer us, your friends and family, uh, because of your trust in our team. You have all indirectly made an investment into the most vulnerable population here in Las Vegas through our partner, the Hub LV. We just were able to donate another, I think it was $3,400 for the second quarter. Uh, so year to date, we've been able to donate about $7,000 to the hub so far because of your trust and support of our team. So thank you very much. All right, let's get into the information. The market is absolutely nuts out there. Uh, you're seeing the headlines. And uh, let me unpack uh, just the most recent relevant information I can for you. So June's median sales price was $480,000. And guys, when you're looking at inflation numbers and you're looking at real estate data, just know that the media is always behind. They're always reporting, sometimes 30 plus days behind. So what I wanted to do is really get in the weeds and look at what's happening right now. So first of all, uh, median price of $480,000 in June. If you look at the closings in the last 30 days, so June was June 1st through June 30th, of course. If you look at June 25 to July 25, for example, the median price was $460,000, $20,000 less than just the full month of June. If you look at what's pending right now, that's scheduled to close in the next 30 days. That's a real snapshot of today. Now, again, we're six weeks before the headline comes out about this number. But if you look at what's pending right now, uh, there are 1,694 homes scheduled to close in the next 30 days. And those have a median list price of 450,000. So if they close at full price, we will have gone from 480 to 450 in two months. Okay, that's a 8% or so uh, price decline in just two months. The 1,694 homes that are scheduled to close in the next 30 days, now keep in mind, not all those will close. There will be some fallout. So, you know, just be prepared for that number. But if they all close, that's 57% of the closings that we saw on average between February and June. So for four months in a row, we averaged around 2,965 closings a month, call it 3,000 closings a month. We're going to be about 16 to 1,700 closings in the next 30 days. So, of course, what happens with that? We have sales way down. We have inventory shooting up with people putting their homes on the market. We are now at 3.5 months of inventory. And I've told you in the past, when you get above three months, it's what we call a level market. But when you go from 0 0.7 months to 3.5 months in a span of 60 to 75 days, it's a buyer's market. It's absolutely a buyer's market out there. Uh, you can feel it. Uh, no way around it right now. Uh, so that's a quick summary for you. Uh, we are 15% uh, of the homes that have been listed since July 1st are under contract. So typically we were seeing, you know, for the last couple of years, uh, probably 80% of the properties that would list would go pending in the first 30 days, probably 90% go pending within the first 60 days. Uh, so, so far everything listed, you know, from July 1st to today, only 15% of those homes in the Valley have gone pending which is a very low number. And for homes between 500,000 and 900,000, some of us would refer to that as the, the executive market, if you will. Uh, but uh, that group of homes, only 8% of those properties listed since July 1st are now pending uh, 25, 26 days later, all right? Uh, unfortunately, all signs do point to continued price declines. We have uh, demand really slow right now. We have inventory up. California stopped coming, guys. That's pretty much the summary. Um, we had... Uh, I had a, a friend mention, you know, the, the percentage of people that, that voted for Governor Newsom like California and they want to be in California. The folks that are very upset with different things in California and wanted to leave, most if not all of them have left by now. So we saw California obviously drive up our market here, uh, which many of us enjoyed that for the last few years, but uh, they are not coming nearly at the rate they were before. And now, of course, we are seeing um, some prices uh, readjust here. And just a quick summary for you on that. You know, I'm talking to a lot of clients right now. And, and truthfully, I don't think it's so much of the market disappointing us right now as much as we're, we're coming into this really clear 2020 hindsight view that truthfully, the, the homes that were closing in our neighborhood, your neighborhood, my neighborhood, that were closing February through June this year, they weren't real numbers. Those weren't real closings. That was the end of this just crazy boom, this phenomenal run that we had. And now things are adjusting back to probably wherever they left off of what was reasonable. 
Uh, I personally believe that might be what we were seeing happen towards the end of last year, like November, December, maybe before the, the second big rush came where we started seeing uh, 10 to 15,000 um, home gains each month for four or five months in a row. Uh, so I, that's what I think we might see, which means, you know, if if the market's already come down around 8%, uh, again, I'm six weeks ahead of the headlines, we might have another, you know, four or 5% to go uh, before things maybe start to kind of level off and get to where they, they were towards the end of last year. You know what? I don't have a crystal ball. We'll find out. Uh, but, you know, that's my feelings as of right now. Uh, real quick, the Fed the Fed did announce a rate hike. Uh, there hasn't been much mortgage industry reaction yet because of the large inflation numbers. It was expectant that the Fed would raise the rates around what they did. Therefore, most believe that the mortgage pricing was already kind of baked into the market. So no huge change there, uh, at least not a huge change expected to be in the coming days. Uh, and I think that's all I'm going to share with you. I try not to go too long. I would just end with this, a message for home buyers. If you have been thinking about buying or on the fence, buy a home. The, you know, supply and demand drives market. Interest rates don't drive market. Uh, if you find a home you love, buy it. Now is the time where you're not going to be competing, most likely, unless it's a super hot property. But uh, you can negotiate the terms you want, get concessions, get your interest rate bought down, get the terms you want basically on, you know, your wish list and your agenda. Uh, because when things do level off, yeah, prices might come down a little bit more, of course, but but you also have a better chance of being in a competing situation, you know, a few months from now or not having the leverage you might have right now to get the terms you really, really want in the contract. So just think about that. Uh, find a home you love and go buy it. You don't wait to buy real estate. You buy real estate and wait. Yes, that's cheesy. It's one of my very few real estate uh, cheesy terms I get to say, but it's true. Uh, so, hey, I'll leave it at that. If you guys have any questions, reach out to us anytime. We love hearing from you. Uh, we are in this. We are in the weeds looking at this information daily, trying to guide our clients the best we possibly can. Uh, we don't have perfect advice. So I'm going to be honest about that. Uh, but we are experts. We know what we're doing and we can guide you through these shifting waters right now. And I've said it before, who you work with matters, but in a shifting market, who you work with really, really matters. Thanks so much, guys. We appreciate all of you and hopefully we'll talk to you soon. See ya.